In today's video, I'm going to show you how to connect and customize any Bluetooth mouse to your iPhone. The mouse we are going to be using today is the Logitech MX Anywhere 3S and you can get it with the link in the description. The first thing we need to do is to put our mouse into Bluetooth pairing mode. For the Logitech MX Anywhere, all we need to do is to turn it on from the back of the mouse and then you want to choose a device you want to connect it to. In this case, I'm going to choose profile number 2. Once we've done this, you then want to press and hold the button until it starts blinking rapidly and this means our device is now in pairing mode. All we need to do now is connect it to our iPhone. To do this, you want to go to the settings application and then you want to go into Bluetooth and from here it should appear at the bottom of the Bluetooth settings. So you want to click into it and then it should connect to your iPhone. As you can see, it is now connected. However, sometimes it may request a password. In that case, the default password is going to be 0000. So if you want to start controlling our iPhone with the mouse, we need to turn on the mouse cursor. To do this, you want to go back to the system settings and then you want to scroll down and you want to find accessibility, click into that. And from here, you want to find touch and click into that. At the very top where it says assistive touch, you want to click into that and then you want to toggle it on and as you can see the cursor is now being controlled by our mouse. If we want to control what the different buttons on our mouse does, we want to go back into the system settings and from here you want to scroll down and find accessibility again and click into that and again you want to go back into the touch settings. From here you want to go back into the assistive touch and then you want to scroll down to where it says devices and click into that. You then want to click on the device we just connected to our iPhone and then you want to click on customize additional buttons. From here you want to select which button you want to customize. In this case I'm going to customize button 3 which is the middle click of the scroll wheel. Once we've done this it's going to bring up the menu which is going to give us different options on how we want to control that button. In this case I'm going to assign it to the home screen. Now we've done this we can go back and if we press the button we just assigned the action to, as you can see it is now going back to the home screen. If you have a side button on your mouse, another option I recommend using is the app switcher. So if we go back into the customize button options and click on the side button, I do recommend changing this to the app switcher. So if we click on that side button, as you can see we are now controlling the app switcher and we can press the middle button to go back home. If you wish to change the sensitivity of the mouse, you want to go back into the assistive touch settings in the settings application and then you want to scroll down and you want to find the tracking sensitivity and from here you can change it by going a higher sensitivity or a lower sensitivity. In this case I'm going to make mine slightly higher and as you can see it is now significantly higher sensitivity. So once we're happy with that we can go back to the home screen and we can start using our iPhone with our mouse just as we normally would. So if this video is helpful please leave a like and if you have any questions or comments you can leave them below.